All right, gonna continue our tour here on K Dock. We have the very first boat here is a Miss K Sport Fisher for sale. More and more sailboats. And they have a very active sailing club here. From what I've seen, in fact, just the other day there was a regatta or race or whatever the term is for them. They got out there. Wind was pretty good. Must have been a great sailing day. Tiara. Right here. An older Tiara. Tiara is made up in Michigan, Holland, Michigan, as I remember. More sailboats out here. Getting to the end, looks like there's something big on the end here. Usually the T docks, they put the bigger boats. Or, yes, with this one, it is a catamaran, a fountain, Fountain Peugeot, over the uh, French pronunciation is. Beautiful yacht out there on the end. Another tiara, you can always spot the tiaras. There's something about the design of them. Very nice boat. And looks like a Genoa. More recent model, I suppose, with a couple of 300 horsepower engines on it. Wow. Cruiser yacht. We have seen a number of those on the loop, the cruisers, very popular. Haven't seen any main ships yet in here, and that was another very popular boat on the Great Loop, trawler style boat. But some of them can get up and go, depending on how they're powered, the main ships. Well, coming to the end of K Dock again. Hey, have you been thinking about getting your captain's license? Well, we have an affiliate program with Mariner's Learning System. Head on over to our website, greatloopacademy.com, and look for captain's license at the top. If you purchase through our affiliate program, you get a free 15-minute call with me, and I'll give you the tips for success through the course. Another thing we see here around Harrington Harbor is little areas where you can grill out, have a nice outing, picnic table, very nice. And it looks like way down there, looks like a boat being uh, maneuvered to come into the slip for some work. And he's got a uh, dinghy out there that they're pushing it with. Beautiful morning. Doesn't feel like summer. It's getting to be the end of August. And unexpectedly, the weather has been in the, the low 70s. All right, J Doc, Juliet. So we'll take a look and see what's on Juliet Doc. I'm going to work all the way up to a dock here. A couple runabouts here. Outboard engines, Yamahas. Sailboats galore. I wish I knew more about the different types of sailboats, unless I see the name on them. I'm hesitant to say what it is. And we have a couple boats out here on the end of the T-head. Power boat. Ocean yacht. We pan around here. We're, we're looking up toward what's called Tracy's Creek. Come around and looks like Sailboat City here. A 
and how that one is named Hunter Rose. I don't know if it's a hunter or not, but the name of the boat, Hunter Rose. Beautiful sailboats. A lot of work to keep those performing. Benatow. Okay, there's one I can tell you because it says right there Benatow on it. And we'll, uh, classic Grady White. What a great boat that is. And look at that. Wow. 850 total horsepower. I wonder what that does flat out. And a Jersey boat. I've seen one other. We'll see one of those I think is on Sea Dock. Jersey. Beautiful looking boat. We're going to continue our tour here. And you can see how there's plenty of space, open spaces for people to get together. And we're coming up kind of in the middle of the complex right now. And the pool area here, as well as laundry facilities. Uh, there is also a bar at the pool that is open on the weekends. Beautiful area. All right, we're going to continue our tour. You can see, you can walk all the way to the office on this kind of a brick road here. And this is the clubhouse dock. So it doesn't have a letter, but it is the clubhouse dock. So we here we are, a regal. Better together, I like that. And a towel right there. I can see that name. Again, sailboats. We're getting into the bigger slips here, probably 35, 40 feet. As we come out here, the sun is coming out. It's still nice and cool. Tollycraft, I believe. This one. Wow, look at that. That is a bright white, isn't it? Docked wages. Docked wages. Nice. And a De Fever 49. Ah, so we are into the bigger area here. We did see De Fevers on the loop. Silver tin. A couple more sailboats. 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 around here more sailboats and then we see a boat called Pegasus which is a Grand Banks 36 I knew the previous owners of Pegasus and we'll see the previous owners current boat here in a little bit now, now look at this Beautiful catamaran. That looks like that would be a lot of fun, but probably a lot of work with all that stuff up there. Rigging. Very nice. As we come here at the end of the clubhouse dock, you can kind of see why it's called the clubhouse dock, because there's the clubhouse, the pool, one of those buildings, houses, restrooms on each side and then also the uh, bar area as we'll try to get a glimpse of it as we walk through the area here again just landscaping and attention to detail all along here as we go out little nice walking trail along here and further up we'll get to see where it really looks like a nature trail as you go along I would catch squirrels every once in a while but there's the pool area and through there you can kind of see the bar hot tub spa
thought I kind of kept the uh, natural area here with the grasses in there and the habitat. Little signs along the way, I just love them as the uh, tells you about the waterfowl in here. And one time I did attend, it was on a Saturday, they have little events along here. They had a uh, nature exhibit and they actually brought in some of the reptiles and turtles and uh, lizards, even a small alligator. <laughs>